happening right now. The trial is underway for the former Hialeah police officer accused of kidnapping and beating a homeless man. The jury hearing opening arguments today. NBC 6's Steve Litz was there for it all. He is live in Miami with the details this evening. Steve. And hi, Joanne. Hi, Jackie. Day one, as you said, saw opening arguments today. And then we've also seen about three witnesses. This is a situation where two highly police officers are accused of kidnapping a homeless man, driving him to a remote spot and beating him up. Rafael Otano is the name of one of those police officers. He is standing trial by himself today. Prosecutors say he didn't arrest that homeless man. He didn't put the homeless man in the vehicle and drive him to that remote location. But they say he was at the scene of the crime and that constitutes guilty. ex highly police officer Rafael Otano sworn to uphold the law tonight accused of violating it, charged with kidnapping and beating a homeless man. An off-duty Miami-Dade police officer who does not want to be identified was the first person to come into contact with the beating victim back in December as he was wandering in the officer's Aquabella neighborhood in Hialeah. He had a cut, a laceration on top of his head. Uh, his face looked, looked swollen, it looked bruised. Um, his clothes were torn and he appeared intoxicated. Otano and fellow now former Hialeah officer Lorenzo Orfila are accused of taking Jose Ortega Gutierrez into custody, driving him to a remote spot outside the jurisdiction of Hialeah, beating him and then leaving him there. Defense evidence included pictures before and after the beating with obvious wounds to Gutierrez's face and head. The assistant state attorney telling jurors Otano and other officers neglected department policy, never called a supervisor about the arrest, never notified of a prisoner transport, and another clear violation. You know what you will not see in this case? You will not see Officer Ortega's body camera, Officer Abascal's body camera, or the defendant's body camera because they never turned it on. Surveillance video shows officers escorting Gutierrez in the parking lot of a Hylia shopping center and placing him in a police cruiser. Otana's lawyer insisting his client was not involved. When they made the arrest, Mr. Otano was not there. Had nothing to do with it. Wasn't present. And prosecutors do say they have a key piece of evidence, which is a GPS tracker that shows the route of those Hialeah police vehicles going from the city of Hialeah to that remote spot uh, and to where that alleged crime happened. However, Otano's attorney says that technology is flawed and it is not accurate and it doesn't prove anything, insisting his client is guilty. This trial is set to go for a couple days. We'll let you know what happens. Live in Miami, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.